here on New Media Patriot Radio. And uh, this is the uh, Friday Roundup show here. And uh, I am your host, Chris. And uh, you can call us. Uh, the call number is 347-338-1775. And uh, my co-host for today is Mr. Pinko. Mr. Pinko, tell us, um, what do you think about it? It just came out, you know, Donald Trump is dropping out of CPAC because he, want, he has to go campaign. Uh, it's a big turnaround, you know. He's got to he's got to go campaign. Meanwhile, all the other candidates are gonna are, are gonna make speeches at CPAC. Do you think there's a story out there that uh, that there was a ploy by the Ted Cruz supporters to walk out from the event? Um, do you think he kind of uh, sensed what was going on and decided not to go? Yeah, I, I think Donald Donald Trump's not stupid, you know. And I even I even know the guy who started the 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 Cruz supporter. He dresses up like Jefferson at all the, or, or like, a, you know, a, what you would call it, 17th, 18th century uh, oh, yeah, yeah, American. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. He's, he's, he's actually a preacher, uh, a pastor, and um, I think he's the one that came up with the idea. Or it, it broke out because of him, because he was going into the media and, and saying, we're, we're going to get a thousand of us and we're going to walk out on Donald Trump when, when he speaks. It, horrible. This is, this, this is the tactics and the horrible crap that they're thinking up. And I've been to CPAC twice, um, and I've, I've listened. I've actually been to CPAC when I heard Donald Trump speak at CPAC, and everybody would give him standing ovations every right. year that Donald Trump has appeared there. So I don't get it with all these guys. I'm trying to get a good analogy of of uh, you know. Well, back then I support. We supported the you know. We wanted a third party guy. We find, and now you got. I, I, I really, you got to help me out, Chris, with this analogy Go here. Ahead. I'll help you out. I'll here try my we, best. I'll try my best, Mr. Pinko. All right. Here we are. Chris and Mr. Pinko, you know, five, four or five years ago, getting fed up with all the crap and everything. And go, we need a third party guy in this and that, right? Mm-hmm. We, we're bitching and moaning for how many years, right? Right. right. So finally, it comes down to it. We got our chance to do it. And you know what happened with all the other, the NRO and the, and the, and the Rich Lowry's and the, and the Jonah Goldberg and all yep. those people on Fox News? They're pussies. <laughs> the, those guys are the pussies. They're the ones that we, we I, I hate to do it like a bank, like we, I don't want to do it with a legal analogy. Right. Imagine if we did a bank robbery, right? And I hate to do this analogy because people, you know, stick to the, you know, the, yeah, real, yeah. You know, the real part of the analogy. Right. Suppose we plotted a bank robbery and everything, and we got like oh. eight guys, right? And we're just about to execute the plan, right? Mm-hmm. Then the real the, 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 the guys with balls come through with the plan, and then you got two or three wusses going, right. uh, you know, the pussying out on it. Right, right. That's what Lowry is. That's what Jonah Goldberg right. is. That's but, all these big mouths, and they're afraid of losing their jobs. Right. That's the problem. Right. Well, uh, I have. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I have somebody calling in. I have uh, my buddy uh, Wayne Dupree from the Wayne Dupree Show. He's down at CPAC right now. How are you, Wayne? Hey, buddy. How you doing? How's everything? How's everything going down there? You sound tired, man. Dude, I was falling asleep, <laughs> and I realized, I was like, wait a minute. I didn't call in last time. Right. He is going to kill me if I don't do it this time. Well, well, no, just briefly. I'm fine. Yeah, briefly, what's going on down there? How's everything going down there? Right, I mean, you, know, uh, you know, Donald Trump is not showing up now, and uh, Dr. Ben Carson announced that he's not, uh, he's dropping out as well. Uh, a lot of A lot of things going down there, right? What's going on? But yeah, yeah. Um, the Trump, the Trump issue is only a problem with the Ted Cruz fans. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they they didn't want him here, and now they're crying that he's not coming. Right, right. I mean, how <laughs> hypocritical? How hypocritical can you be? Right. When you're talking about both sides of your tail, right. you know. Um, and I'm watching some of these um, Cruz supporters, some of the Cruz speakers getting up, and well, actually, I haven't been in on the speaker um, situation right. um, because I've been on Radio Row for the most part. Um, today we had Dana Perino, uh, Sean Hannity, Stacey Dash. Right. Um, it was it was well, a great um, it was a great afternoon of interviews. 
Awesome. Well, I know, I know you are a veteran of CPAC and I was supposed to go down there with you, but, uh, you know, I, I do have, uh, you know, I have my other job and it was, it was conflicting with my job. So I, I wasn't able to attend, but, uh, I really wish I was down there and, uh, listen, get some rest, man. I have, uh, I have uh, nothing but the, the utmost, uh, you know, uh, gratitude for you for, for getting me started here on this radio show. Uh, and again, uh, thank you for calling in brother. Well, I mean, you know, I just, I just want to let you know, Mo, um, I've been, to, this is my fourth year at CPAC, right, right. and, if, and if there's one thing that I know, um, the first three, the first three that I've been to, nine, nine times out of ten, when you leave CPAC, you leave with the idea that you want to take on the world, and mm-hmm. you want to you want to be the best you can be. Right. I have a feeling that after this one, people are going to leave still split. They aren't coming together. Wow. In wow. My opinion. Wow. That's deep, bro. That's deep. Cause I remember, I remember you telling me, I remember you telling me that it, you should go down there. You're going to come out. You're going to come out of the, the CPAC. Like you, you can, you can conquer the world. And you're telling me that everybody's going to come out split from there. That is amazing. That is news, man. Listen, uh, Wayne, I have another caller on the line. I have uh, Mona Salama right. on the line, but thank you for calling in. All right. All right, doc. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Take care, Wayne. All right, doctor. Uh, I have uh, now on the line on the uh, Rebooting Liberty Hotline, I have Mona Salama. Uh, she is a political reporter covering the 2016 race uh, for the conservative movement here. Uh, she actually writes for a conservative site, politichicks.com. How are you, Mona? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Listen, uh, what's going on down there, man? I hear uh, from Wayne Dupree just called in and uh, he said it was... Uh, that uh, everybody's going to come out of there divided. Usually when you go to CPAC, everybody comes out, you know, um, as a team um, trying to beat the Democrats. Uh, is, is that is that the case down there? Yeah, basically, uh, I arrived um, shortly after, I would say, 11 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And I had just forgotten the alert that Trump was not going to be there as, you know, planned. He's never missed a CPAC. Right. And um, what you call it, I it was breaking. And and when I found out why, it was because, you know, people who support Ted Cruz was using their time to, of speech to bash him. And I just was just like, that is so disgusting. I, under, I understand everybody's going to have a favorite candidate mm-hmm. of who they're going to support. Right. But use that time allocated to you to talk about your candidate, right. why he is the guy that should be our next president of the United States. Don't use your time attacking the front runner attacking another Republican, breaking the eleventh commandment, right? And being a hypocrite, I want to say, of saying I'm a conservative, but I have no problem talking. I would say crap. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you, could say, other... you could say you could say shit on the show. It's my show. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to like. I'm trying to like get rid of that quote unquote New York values listen, and you, not cursing. Hey, right? listen. This is our New York values. You have either you, you like you take it or you don't. Listen, we're from New York. What do you want? You know what I mean? Go ahead. But go ahead. I'm I sorry. Know, right? We're talking about it. <laughs> so basically, that was it. And um, it was Mark Levin and it was Jenny Beth. Mm, Jenny Beth um, from the Tea Party Patriots. I can't remember Jenny her last Beth name Mark. right now. Yes. Jenny and, Beth Martin. Uh, yes. And basically. You know, making the case as to why, you know, Trump is this and that and that. And it's not even a case. It was just like their personal beliefs. And they're trying to infringe on other, you know, conservatives. And, you know, some conservatives are very close. But... Yeah, Mona, you bring up a good point because here you have you have radio hosts, and 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 I grant it, they're very intelligent, they're very smart, they're they're smarter than me a million times over, but they're using their platform. Don't ever say that. They're, they're, listen, they're moving, <laughs> they're, they're moving it, they're, they're using their platform to 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 push a candidate. So here you have Mark Levine, he has a new television show, he has his radio show, he's going to be pushing Ted Cruz. I have nothing wrong, I have nothing, you know, I would vote for Ted Cruz, but the fact that they're using their platform to push him. Here you have Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck is telling is is uh, it came out today Glenn Beck was uh, saying that if he, if he was anywhere close to Donald Trump that he could he would, and if he had a knife that he wouldn't stop stabbing him like who says that as a radio host who says that I know right and now I can understand why he wants to use the liability law against you know mm-hmm. um people who are calling themselves as media because it's gotten to a point that we're giving the democrats talking points like now they don't have to do op research they don't have to do nothing you know getting ready they don't have to do anything. What they're going to do now, and I guarantee you, mark my words, 
if they're going to take every single attack that we have done since January, the beginning of this year, right. and they're going to regurgitate it, and they're going to repeat it, and they're going to say, this is how the Republican Party is. Do we want to be divided? We're not. We're supposed to be united. We stand divided. We fall. Right. But apparently, if the Republicans want to be divided, they will love to divide this country, and they're going to use that rhetoric for the general election, and guarantee you, even if it's Trump, and even with the money he has and the money he says he's going to um, raise, because he just came out today saying that if he was the nominee, he is going to be fundraising. And he knows a lot of rich people. Right. And no matter how much money he spends on that race, it's going to go in favor to Hillary Clinton, even with you know the Trump supporters out there trying to push it. Because we have gotten to a point that of no return, mm-hmm. of just becoming, I would say, very disgusting of bashing Republicans, bashing to a point that, like, I understand, like, you know, that it was a crowded field. Everybody had their pick. Right. But instead of just saying, like, you know, Trump is not the candidate of my choice because of X, Y, and Z. Right. And this, I want Ted Cruz, for example, or Marco Rubio, or John Kasich, for that matter. They use their platform to bash him. Right. And it's just disgusting. So it's just, I, I can't. And I'm like, God wow. forbid, wow. it's going to be a legal to a broker convention. Wow. Or if that, we're, you know, it's going to get to the point that we're not going to be a Republican Party come 2017. That's disgusting. That's it. You're right. And, and that's and that's what that's what we're, that's what worries me the most. I have uh, my co-host for today is uh, is Mr. Pinko. Mr. Pinko, you have a question for, for uh, um, Mona? No, I don't have a question. I, I have a little bit of advice. And then you guys ch- try to help help me with this for, with, for Mona. And I've been to CPAC. Thank you. Mona, this is what you, Mona, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, Mona, uh, tell me if this is uh, a good uh, path to go down or whatever. I think you need all these people that bash Donald Trump. That we have to stick to one meme with them. You tell them they are they are campaigning for Hillary. When they do that, you, they're, oh, they're yeah. campaigning for Hillary. That is it. You have to shame them. Shame these people yeah. that are doing that. So, and I think you got to stick. You don't have to go toe to toe with them. With you know, go point by point. You just have to tell them you're campaigning for Hillary. Hillary Clinton in the White House, run, running this country by doing what you're doing. And, and tell me if yeah. I'm wrong or not. No, no, you're a hundred percent right. You're exactly. And talking about if Trump is the nominee, I would not vote for him. What are you trying to do? A, a repeat of back to the. Um, Back to the past, 2012, yeah, yeah, yeah. a remix of it, <laughs> yeah. and, and you know if Hillary, if Hillary Clinton becomes a nominee, um, we're not going to have four years of her. We're going to have eight years of her because right. the Democrats, when they're in control, they find a way to make sure they have two consecutive terms. Yep. The only president that didn't have that was Jimmy Carter because of what the the world was turning upside down. Yeah. Well, listen, listen, Mona, but, Mona, I want, I want, I want to ask. And, go ahead, go ahead, Mona. Finish your thought. One more thing. Yep. Um, another breaking news is Ben Carson officially announced that he is out of the presidential race. And um, who, he do you, who do you, who do you, who, his, like, yeah, who do you think is going to benefit from that the most? What can- um, I would say Cruz. Okay. <clears throat> Cruz more because they were both recording for the same um, vote. Mm-hmm. And I think that was the biggest mistake of Ben Carson's campaign. And I blame his consultants for that. Right. They, ate, they ate his campaign funds. Up alive, wow. they're probably going to be wealthy for the next. I would say to the next presidential election. <laughs> um, wow. I think that Ben Carson could have came second in South Carolina. It was an open primary. Right. It was a heavily right. um, black proportion. I hate to say that race. If Obama did it in two thousand and eight, what should what? Carson should have did the same thing. It was an open primary. Get the blacks out instead of worrying about the evangelicals. Because the evangelicals were already right. on sided with um, Donald Trump and Ted Cruz. Right. So well, instead of trying to like fight for scraps, I would have fought for ten. I would have fought for a new type of voters that those votes go to me and not Hillary Clinton the week after. Right. That's deep, Mona. That's deep. I want to thank you for calling into the show again. That uh, we we were talking with uh, Mona Salama, who's down there in CPAC right now. Mona is a uh, political writer for Politichicks dot com. Mona, you want to give your Twitter out? Yeah, it's um, at Mona Salama, and don't forget the underscore at the end of it. Awesome. Thank you for calling, Mona. <laughs> send, Anna, send Anna Marie my best. <laughs> and it's very right. well. All right. Bye-bye. Anna, Anna Marie Morrell. She's great. Thank you. Yes. Anytime.
All right, uh, there you have it. Uh, <clears throat> you listen to the Sound Majority here on New Media Patriot Radio. The number to call is 347-338-1775. And uh, we have another caller. We have another reporter down from CPAC right now. Her name is um, Aaron Cruz. Aaron Cruz, how are you? I'm well. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing great. Listen, uh, you know, I, 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 we've spoken with Wayne Dupree. We've spoken with Mona Salama. And... 